So I went to university and did a course in real estate. Um, I just didn't really get on with it. I, I qualified, got, got my degree, um, and I should have I should have switched to a law course within the first year because I knew that that was the part of it that I actually really enjoyed. Um, but I didn't. Um, so it was very much a case of finding my path after I after I took, got into the working world and finding what I enjoyed. So I dabbled in a bit of a state agency. Um, again, still really like the legal side of things with that. So I joined um, a law firm as, a, as, a, as an assistant and I've just slowly built my way up from there. Um, and then obviously needed a way of getting qualified. And this was a really nice way of doing it because I didn't have to pay the fees. I didn't have to go back to uni. It wasn't quite as an in, intense course as a lot of the other ones. Um, so this just really worked, worked really well for me. So I've been I've been doing conveyancing for quite a long time now, and I think with a with a lot of it, you kind of just pick a lot of stuff up because it's the way things are done, um, and almost the habit and, and just the way that the firm works. So it's quite nice to learn everything behind the scenes and why you do certain things. And I feel like I'm it's it's made me a better conveyancer already because there's a lot of stuff that I just did, like I said, because the way that we do things but I now understand why and understand how it can be written in certain documents and yeah so very very useful to know the background to everything that we're doing. Okay I mean I've got a two-year-old as well so I do have a lot on my plate. Um, <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a baby halfway through doing my level four um, Bit of a surprise i didn't know if i could have children so it was a nice surprise baby um so it's obviously sort of delayed things a little bit um so now it's quite nice getting back into studies and feeling like i'm using my brain again um it, it's obviously difficult because you know conveyances are always really really busy um but you really do have to be quite strict to make sure that you do take that time um out of the day to, to make sure that you're doing your course and it is manageable as long as you do take that time I'm very, very lucky that I work in a, in a lovely team of people that, that want me to qualify and want me to progress. So they do allow me to have that time. So it's really nice. So I'm hoping to finish my level four um, and, and qualify here straight away um, and, and just continue working here, really. We're toying with the idea at the moment of expanding our new build team, which I'll be a part of. Um, so it's just a case of, of when I qualify, we'll see where I fit. <laughs> my ambitions have always been fairly similar. I just wanted to get qualified and actually use my brain and, and actually feel like I've accomplished something with my degree. Because it felt a little bit like once I'd finished uni, I didn't really know what to do with my degree. So uh, they, they allow me to do my sort of 20% off the job training um, in, in working time, um, allow me to, to transfer my, my phone to them. They read my emails in that little time that, that I'm off doing it. Um, and if I've got any questions, they're always, they're always here to help me. I think allowing you to qualifying something while you're just at work is just worth its weight in gold because you're not needing to do sort of extensive study in the evenings and stuff obviously you do have to do a little bit here and there if you're not grasping it in the hours that you're in work um, but obviously for, for me being a working mum I don't have very much time <laughs> um, so it, it, it's really beneficial really really beneficial to, to have it as part of your working day Yeah, so just just little things like when I'm having to change some documents. Say say for example, we've had a, we've had a new build site and there is a transfer of part that I've had to convert into a transfer of whole. I now understand why certain things need to stay within the contract and the wording that needs to be incorporated in order for it to sort of continue in, in the legal documentation. Whereas I think beforehand I probably didn't grasp why. Um, whereas this obviously really does teach you sort of the background behind the way that we do everything. So it's, 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 been, it's been really good. It's a benefit 
it is just yeah being able to work alongside doing your studies i wouldn't be able to go off and do a university course now i couldn't i wouldn't be able to afford to do so um so being able to, to do it alongside doing a full-time job is is really great and it's, it's boosted my confidence um but i feel like i know what i'm doing and i'm in i'm, I'm on the right path Yeah, yeah, so my tutor's been really supportive. Um, if I've ever got any questions, she's always there to help me. Um, and if anything, she, she could sort of guide you even further than you're thinking of on your own, um, which is really, really nice. Because I think when you're, you know, looking at a computer screen, reading instructions that, you know, I, I haven't been in education for quite a long time now, it's hard to kind of bring your brain back into that way of working. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I did my level four course um, via a different provider who don't even provide the course anymore. Um, and I do definitely find total people to be much more supportive, um, a lot more hands-on.